In the rocky regions of New Image Despa, a creepy crawler reigns supreme. Rocking a stock motor and low range gears, this wild pattern bugger strikes fear into the heart of SCX-24s on mass. J Concepts ruptures wrapped around CCX a C pine tree inserts. Afford this ugly gecko with superior grip. The stock tracks a shock's driving articulation, thanks to the Mayus LCG chassis for under the shell. Sporting a mullet, this funky rock dweller is dirty, even when it's clean. And not the Camaro T-top driving shag your sister wife. Kind of mullet either. True to its namesake, the gecko is still business in the front. Party in the rear. Even in its natural habitat, the ugly gecko can become confused causing its actions to be perceived as erratic. Maybe it's a defense mechanism to deal with possible tense scale invasion. Or maybe it's the D-bag holding the phone and making rookie videography mistakes. Get it together, man. The mullet on the ugly gecko is achieved through the use of the Traxxas TRX Forum straight axle in front and the FCX24 portal in the rear. This axle combination provides an estimated 40% underdrive, with the wheels in the rear going slower than the front. A dragging motion allows the gecko to suck down to the terrain, adding to the superior handling characteristics of this ugly gecko. While observing the gecko, you can easily see it's at home wherever it goes. This silly little guy is scared of certain transitions. Fearing getting one of the ruptures caught up in the gap, he decides to take an alternate route. Taking your typical 11-point turn, he manages to get positioned correctly. Blame it on him or the guy behind the camera. Neither look like they know what they're doing here. The gecko is the master of many arts, yoga being one, as he displays some variant of the upward dog pose. The ugly gecko will veer off course occasionally, getting dirt on his tires taking the long way around. But he uses this opportunity to show, you can't keep a good rig down. Hey, that rhymed, I'm a poet and didn't know it. Showing off a throwback from his disco days, the ugly gecko does an ugly shuffle off this rock, Cheeky bastard. Apart from exceptional performance, there are still little known facts about this mullet wielding gecko. A quick Google search revealed these next statements. Brace yourself. Steven Crowder famously sat in front of a large hobby shop with a sign, and it read, the ugly gecko is the grand pooba of 18th scale, change my mind. He left later that day with the same opinion as when he arrived. Joe Rogan said the fact that the ugly gecko exists speaks to how there really is levels to this shiz. He later proclaimed the ugly gecko as king of the rocks. We contacted him with inquiry into this proclamation he declined to comment. Some of the audience would find these tidbits unbelievable. But it's on YouTube though, and it's read by a charismatic British dude, has to be true. Right. Feeding 3S power to the motor and servo is an ESC from drive time a C. It's a brushed ESC that has Bluetooth tuning capability. You could quite literally set throttle trim on the gecko and let him eat.
Here the ugly gecko displays more bad decision making and poor tire placement, making him show off the fact he hasn't got an NSD or CRS 100 servo yet. Please stay tuned as more modifications are planned. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had making it. Many of us get into the hobby as an escape. And to me, the ability to build and drive these little trucks brings so much joy. Please subscribe if you feel you could watch more. And thank you for watching.